People who abuse animals should be prosecuted in the same way that you'd prosecute abuse against a human. A video has emerged of a female fox hunter appearing to kick and then punch a horse repeatedly. Now, in case you missed this video, here it is, but just as a warning, it's quite distressing to watch. Let's play it. Yes, now supposedly we're a nation of animal lovers, but it's surprising how long it's taken us for the law to catch up with that. Now, this lady has been named anyway in reports as Sarah Moulds, and apparently she's actually a primary school teacher. I mean, I'm all for a bit of more discipline in schools, but if this is how this woman treats animals, I'd raise serious questions about whether or not she's fit to look after children. There's a bit of a myth at the moment that fox hunting has stopped. It hasn't. Just look at this recent court case, for example, of 60-year-old Mark Hankinson, who was convicted of encouraging others to hide the illegal hunting of live foxes behind a smokescreen of trail hunting. He was literally dishing out advice on how to hide the fact that you're hunting a fox. The practice is utterly barbaric. What kind of person wakes up in the morning and thinks, right, I'm going to get on a horse, summon the dogs, and I'm going to go out into the countryside and watch a fox get ripped to pieces? A lunatic, a psychopath, an absolute nutter. That's who. I wonder whether or not it's time to ban trail hunting. I suspect it's just a ruse and that actually it's still just fox hunting. I mean, think about it. How can you control a pack of dogs who've been bred to hunt? You're out in the open countryside. You just can't, can you? There's absolutely no animal welfare involved in any element of hunting. Obviously, the fox gets a raw deal. It looks like the horse might get punched in the face by a primary school teacher. There was a recent case where dogs who are no longer of any use were shot in the back of the head. No element of this is good for the animals. It needs to be stopped. And it's only recently that we've recognised that household pets, like dogs, for example, aren't simply property. A law recently came in that will see people sentenced to up upwards of seven years in prison if they nick a dog. Now, I'd actually extend that. If you steal a dog, it's not the same as stealing a bike or a phone or a laptop. You're stealing a member of the family. Now, I've had dogs, and they were more or less like a sibling to me. If someone steals a dog, I think they should be prosecuted in the same way that you would prosecute someone who kidnaps a child. If we really are a nation of animal lovers, we need to get tougher with the people who abuse them.